What is Coronet Cycle? The Coronet Cycle is an ideal, reversible cycle process involving the expansion and compression of an idle gas, which enables us to evaluate the efficiency of an engine utilizing this cycle. Reversible Isothermal Expansion TH is equal to constant. During the step 1 to 2 on the figure, the gas is allowed to expand, it does work on the surroundings. The temperature of the gas does not change during the process, and thus the expansion is isothermal. The gas expansion is propelled by absorption of heat energy Q1 from the high temperature reservoir and results in an increase of entropy of the gas in the amount. Delta S1 is equal to Q1 by T1. Reversible adiabatic isentropic expansion. For this step 2 to 3 on the figure, the mechanisms of the engine are assumed to be thermally insulated. Thus, they neither gain nor lose heat, an adiabatic process. The gas continues to expand, doing work on the surroundings and losing an amount of internal energy equal to the work that leaves the system. The gas expansion causes it to cool to the cold temperature T2. The entropy remains unchanged. Reversible isothermal compression TL is equal to constant. 3 to 4 on figure 1 C to D on figure 2, now the surroundings do work on the gas, causing an amount of heat energy Q2 to leave the system to the low temperature reservoir and the entropy of the system decreases in the amount. Delta S2 is equal to Q2 by T2. This is the same amount of entropy absorbed in the step 1 and can be seen through the Clausius inequality. Reversible adiabatic isentrophic compression 4 to 1 on figure, once again the mechanisms of the engine are assumed to be thermally insulated and frictionless, hence reversible. During this step, the surroundings do work on the gas, increasing its internal energy and compressing it, causing the temperature to raise to T1 due solely to the work added to the system but the entropy remains unchanged. At this point, the gas is in the same state as at the start of step 1. Reversible adiabatic isentrophic compression. In this case, delta S1 is equal to delta S2, Q1 by T1 is equal to Q2 by T2. This is true as R, both lower and in fact are in the same ratio. The pressure volume graph. When the coronet cycle is plotted on a pressure volume diagram, the isothermal stages follow the isotherm lines for the working fluid. Adiabatic stages move between isotherms and the area bounded by the complete cycle path represents the total work that can be done during one cycle. So now can you memorize what is a coronet cycle? The Coronet Cycle is an ideal reversible cyclic process involving the expansion and compression of an ideal gas, which enables us to evaluate the efficiency of an engine utilizing the cycle. For inspiration, The Power of Imagination Makes Us Infinite by John Muir